hi this is Jean Gasho and I'm here today to give you another inspiring message today I'm talking about enlarging your territory what does it mean to enlarge the tent of your territory and uh, I believe that your passions your, your, your personality, your uniqueness, being true to yourself is what drives your ambition and that's, that's what extends the tent of your territory. And what I mean is, I'm always reminded of the story of the woman who came to Christ with an alabaster jar of expensive oil in Mark chapter 14. This woman came to Christ with this jar and she broke it and started anointing Jesus in front of everybody, in front of men, in front of all these important people. She was anointing Christ and being very intimate and passionate with Christ very passionate yeah and what I'm saying is that when you are passionate about something when you are driven to do something in your heart and in your spirit people don't have to understand you you don't even have to get approval of anybody to be you to be who you are to be unique to be different to to fulfill the desires of your passion you just go for it and you do it yeah no one has to approve it no one has to understand it but the impact of your passion is what everybody should feel now when this woman came with the alabaster oil everybody was watching her everybody was looking at her and she had so many critics around her everyone was criticizing her from left right and center what is she doing this money could have been used for the poor there were even so many um logical reasons why she should not have done what she was doing it just makes sense that why would she pour this oil on this on, on on this man why can't this be sold to the poor and the money given and distributed it makes sense isn't it but this woman knew what she was doing she was fulfilling her passion and she went in there and Christ defended her the impact of what she did no one understood what she was doing but Christ said she is preparing me for my burial this was the woman who anointed the king of glory the death of Christ this is the woman who anointed Christ but when she was doing it she was just being herself she was being different she was being unique and she anointed Christ her impact we still talk about her today because the impact of her passion her legacy it's it's it, it's what lives on today and even Christ said this woman what she has done will always be remembered this is the power of legacy what is your legacy what passion do you have that has impacted change that today we can talk about you what what is your drive that you have done and no one gets you everyone is looking at you thinking what is she doing but when they see the result of something that you have started like a real it's almost like a revolution something unique and different but you, we see the result and we talk about the woman today and basically that's my message today I'm simply saying don't let anybody stop you from being you don't let anyone make you feel bad about the things that you are very passionate about. For me, if, if I had seen Christ today, my passion for Jesus would have been drawing a picture of him and I would have given it to him. But someone would have said, that's not biblical. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? It's idolatry. But I would have been driven in my heart to just draw Jesus because that's what I love doing. That's me being me. Some people's passion is football, some people's passion is photography, some people even love acting. We don't have to understand everybody's passion, but the impact of that passion is what changes lives. And that's my message today, okay? That's my message today. It's about enlarging your territory. When this woman went into this house, it wasn't even her house. But she went in and she brought the house down. She took over that house and the story became hers. And Jesus said, this woman will always be remembered for what she did. It's her legacy that lives on. What is your legacy? Have you enlarged your territory by your own passion? This is Jean. Thank you for watching. Continue being yourself.